Hi everybody and welcome to EV Unite. In this episode we are going to be unboxing the ChargePoint HomeFlex EV Charger. This is a product that's available on Amazon for $700 as of today and it's available in two variants. So you can either get a NEMA 14-50 or NEMA 6-50 plug depending on um, what outlet you have at your house. This is going to be part of a video series so in this video we're unboxing. The next video I'm going to show you how to mount and install the unit and then in the final video I'll do a test and demo of the product and give you a review so you can see what are some of my thoughts and what are the things I like and what I don't like about the product. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure to do that. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and let's get started. One thing I wanted to mention is that I'm always looking for new EV chargers to try out and test. So if you have any recommendations for chargers you would like to see reviewed, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure to check those out. As we are getting everything out of the box, let me go through some specs and features of this product. The ChargePoint HomeFlex is considered a level 2 charger, which basically means it can charge your EV up to 9 times faster than a standard level 1 wall charger. It operates at 240 volts and is configurable up to 50 amps through the mobile app, allowing you to deliver up to 37 miles of range per hour to your car. The charger comes with a 23 foot charging cable and is UL listed for safety. It's also Energy Star certified for efficiency and backed by a 3 year manufacturer warranty with 24 7 support available. So here we have an installation guide. Looks like we have a, in another language. This looks like some sort of mounting template. Um, for installation and that's the sleeve this is this is just a quick start guide here um, we also have all of the hardware that's needed um, as well as it looks like they gave you the bits to install it which is nice And then we've got the unit itself. Um, so you can see here, this is the NEMA 14-50 plug. Um, that's what we have installed at the house here. And then we also have the uh, charging cable, of course. So this is the J1772 style. Um, if you have a Tesla, you can use the adapter. So you basically plug the adapter in here and then that'll allow you to plug in and charge on a Tesla. Um, so this is an option if you're uh, not interested in getting a Tesla charger. And we also have here um, a cable clip. So this looks like it's going to connect to the unit itself. And then this will plug directly into the wall. So let's go ahead and open this up a little bit. There we go. So here we could see this is the uh, location where the charger can mount in. Um, on the back, there's a kind of graded surface and then some mounting hole locations. Um, this is what we have on the bottom of the unit. Don't know if this top lid seems like it pops off. Let me give this a go. Yep. So this top lid comes off. Um, and it looks like here, there's a piece of foam in here, so that's good to take out. And we have the electrical connections and the location for the cable clip. So we'll put that back on, on here. Um, the cable's nice. It's a similar diameter 
if not the same diameter as the Tesla charging cable. And they do give you these nice uh, straps for transporting the unit. So overall, the product packaging was really nice. Um, it was Everything was secure in the box. Nothing came broken or damaged. Um, it comes with everything you need to get started, an installation guide, the cable, the unit, and all the hardware, including the bits, which was a nice touch. Um, so in the next video, we're going to actually mount and install this in the garage here. And then following that, I'll be doing a review. So um, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video.